Thank you. Um, I'm Benedict, founder and CEO of the software startup Dataline based in Munich, Germany. And I just want to begin with a very simple truth. Data is sexy, isn't it? And data scientist is said to be the sexiest job of the 21st century. Because today data is everywhere. Self-driving cars, artificial intelligence, and algorithms that can win elections. That's great. And data scientists that can handle all kinds of data sources that can combine the programming skills and the statistical knowledge and answer relevant questions with data, they will be a very scarce resource. And I bet many of the companies that are present here have hundreds of open positions for data scientists right now. But how does the reality of working with data and companies look like? So often looks like this. So in many cases, big data is big problems. Research departments and companies, they are feeling lost in the data jungle. And their daily job includes a lot of copy and paste from statistical software to Excel to PowerPoint and back again. And every new data set that arrives starts the process again. So data and company means wasting time, risking errors, and simply it's not fun. And I bet you've seen charts like this, maybe even in your company. So we created the software DataLine to put the joy back into working with data. Because DataLine combines the power of statistical software with the coolness of infographics. And what sets us apart from other data analysis and visualization platforms are three things. First, our software is very flexible, so you can customize almost everything, from the chart templates to themes that control the look and feel of the whole dashboards and reports. And sometimes our clients, they send us photos of flip chart uh, drawings, and they say, well, I want to look at the, the chart like this, so we are doing this, so this works. And well, here are some examples. And we also, we're not only doing visualizations, but we also have a powerful cross-tabulation engine, so you can create heat maps, nested tables, significance levels, all this stuff. Second thing, data line is very fast. You can query millions of rows within milliseconds with our proprietary in-memory database. And uh, data line also comes with many very useful default settings. So set up from raw data to the final dashboard only takes 15 minutes. Data, as you know, comes in many weird flavors. So therefore, we've developed a very flexible data import system. We can handle all the standard uh, formats, but we also can connect databases up to very advanced big data systems like Apache Spark, Kafka, and Drill. So we're also ready for Internet of Things applications with big uh, real-time data streams. But also, many data sources are not files anymore today. They live in the cloud. So we also developed connectors that can connect to Amazon AWS or applications like Salesforce, SurveyMonkey, Google Analytics, you name it. You can connect all these APIs. But DataLine is not only a powerful data integration tool. It also supports you with understanding the data structure. Um, and the final USP, other software platforms can either create professional analysis or beautiful charts. DataLine is the software that can do both. With just a few mouse clicks, users can transform boring statistical output into beautiful presentations and share them with a team or their client, no matter how complex the data. So a short look, this is the old version, <laughs> into the future. So we've launched DataLine in 2015, and already more than 300 companies in Europe have used our software. Among these, a lot of media agencies, trade associations, research companies, and large corporations. And in this year alone, our users have created more than 500,000 charts with the software. And at the top of our technology roadmap is the further development of the data line artificial intelligence. So right now, we're working on a chatbot-like interface that can understand natural language. So in a few months, you may just say, hey, data line, show me the brand KPIs for the last three years, and the software will understand and give you the results within an instant. And furthermore, we're working on the automation of report creation. So we're working on smart algorithms that create the reports themselves. And we're calling this 
self-driving data science. So to wrap up, importing and handling all kinds of data files and formats, automated reports, natural language interfaces, and beautiful and custom infographics, those are the four main drivers that will allow DataLine to grow in the next years and show data scientists in all kinds of companies a new, easy, and very fun way through their data jungles. Thank you. All righty. Uh, who's got a question from our jurors? Are you? Um, excellent. Thanks. Thanks a lot. Um, do you, are you are you planning on doing anything to support like Python modules uh, for visualization? Uh, yeah, absolutely. So um, inside, we already have the opportunity to paste Python code to do some calculations because um, there's a lot of things you. Uh, it takes a long time to write in SQL or JavaScript, so you can uh, plug that in. And our data visualization um, backend is very flexible, so you can plug in modules. So we're um, having all kinds of uh, things like D3 uh, charts, and you can also integrate Python uh, within that. So that we're working very flexible on the input and the output side. How are you solving uh, for ETL uh, with uh, many disparate data systems all with different uh, nomenclature and, and headers and uh, uh, simplifying that. That seems to be the log jam, not the visualization or the other things you're talking about. Absolutely. I, I totally agree. Uh, so um, in the past, I must say most of our clients are from, from market research uh, consumer insights department and they have more the problem, there's one data set and they can't open it because there's no software that opens this stuff uh, out of the box, so it's a proprietary format. So this is the thing we're solving right now. Um, but we already have the first use cases where we're combining different uh, data sources to, um, for example, to create um, brand KPIs and, uh, and, and evaluate them in comparison to the um, advertising spend so, so we can do a live modeling, but um, yeah. I absolutely agree. It, it takes a long time this, uh, to set up a system like this. Brilliant. All right. Uh, what we're going to do now is hear from our marketeer. So providing the 30,000-foot view from Air Canada, can you please join me in welcoming Chantal? <laughs> that not only I'm responsible for analytics at Air Canada, but I'm also responsible for a, a BI team, so this was a really good subject for me. Um, we do have a lot of discussions about data visualization tool. We always wonder if we have the right one, if there's something better out there. Um, and we always have somebody that's trying to find a new way to display data, new charts. Uh, sometimes they even draw things and then we just have no way to do them. So it's really interesting to see there's a lot of possibilities with your tool. Um, something else also that uh, really interested me was when we talked about the future. Because um, getting data showing some graphs is one thing. The day that we're going to be able to talk to the machine and that it's just going to display it to us, you have to come see me because that's really something for us that uh, a lot of our users are not technical. Forget even Excel. They don't even use Excel. They call us or they send us an email. Um, it'd be great if they could just talk to the machine and see the, the results. I think if you manage to do this, that's really the future. That is sexy. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> cool. Do you want to respond, Benedict? Yeah, absolutely. We, we, we have this in, in the companies we're working with that um, the market research department has a lot of time, spends a lot of time um, on the phone with all the different departments, and, and they don't have time to do the really complicated analysis they, they are best at. So, so we are trying to, to replace, <laughs> in a way, these these tasks of uh, creating um, PowerPoint presentations from, from Excel with a software, because that's what machines can do very well. Brilliant. Great. Thanks, guys. Thank you.